While President Obama and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle try to hash out the health care solution, a group of doctors are banding together to get their voices heard because they're unhappy with all of the reform options on the table. The grassroots group Doctors for Patient Care holding a rally today in Washington. The group's president, Dr. Hal Schurz, and one of its members, Dr. Scott Barber, join me from our D.C. Bureau this morning. And in Atlanta is Dr. Fred Schessel. He's also part of the physician's group. Good morning to all three of you. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning, Gretchen. Dr. Schurz, let me start with you because in that particular clip that we heard from the president from last night, he said that there was an unprecedented coalition of all these groups coming together, including doctors. If you listen to the speech on its face, you would think that President Obama is saying that all or most doctors agree with his plan. Your thoughts? Well, first of all, most doctors don't agree with this plan. Perhaps the AMA does, but the AMA only accounts for 17% of the practicing doctors in this country. So that means over 80% of the doctors are not on board with this. So I think that it's important for the American public to understand that doctors have not been part of this dialogue up until now. And it's like not to have doctors involved in this is like asking housewives to design a transportation system because they've flown on a plane. So I think we need to stop, slow down, get doctors involved, people who take care of people every day and really know what the issues are. I like the analogy. Uh, Dr. Barber, let me ask you about the rally then, because your group is going to come together today for a rally on Capitol Hill. And a lot of people throughout this process have said, we want to hear from the doctors. Now they finally will. What will happen today? Well, Gretchen, thanks for having us on. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to march on the Capitol today. We're going to talk to the Congress. We're going to lobby them and try and help them understand what the issues are and what we know about medicine, that government is not the answer. Uh, we've had experience with government-run health care in the form of the Veterans Administration, and we know that the bureaucracy does not work for patients. It limits access to care, and it's not something that we want to do. Uh, from 5 to 7 this afternoon, we're going to have a rally with doctors, and as uh, most doctors know, it's difficult to get us to do anything, and we're going to have a lot of them there in Washington, <laughs> D.C., speaking loud and clearly. I like that admission. Uh, okay, Dr. Shessel, let me get you in in the conversation, because one of the things that some are saying was left out of the puzzle last night by President Obama was talking about who the heck's going to pay for all of this. Your thoughts on that and how it affects you as a physician? Uh, great question. You know, the, the main thing that we want to say is that the problem with this plan is it's going to rob you of your ability to make your own decisions about your own health care. And that's, that's the primary issue here. Uh, Gretchen, I know you spent time in England. You know what a, a government-sponsored health care plan can be like, and I don't think that the American public wants that. The problem that the uh, president made last night is he said he was going to get most of this money out of the Medicare system. Right. Well, if there's that much fraud and abuse in the Medicare system now, why isn't it already out? Mm. So I think there's some question about how he's going to pay for this. All right, let's take a listen to one thing that I think you all agreed that you did like about his speech. Take a listen. Many in this chamber, particularly on the Republican side of the aisle, have long insisted that reforming our medical malpractice laws can help bring down the costs of health care. I don't believe malpractice reform is a silver bullet, but I've talked to enough doctors to know that defensive medicine may be contributing to unnecessary costs. Dr. Schurz, were you surprised that the president admitted to talking about tort reform and seemed to be open to the idea of suggestions about it? Well, Gretchen, I'm not sure that he's open to suggestions, but I was surprised that he brought it up because he's biting the hand that feeds them. The trial lawyers are, it's no surprise that they are his largest contributor to campaigns. But the fact that um, malpractice or, or liability reform is, is needed is, is beyond question. $200 billion a year are spent on defensive medicine alone. And another $200 billion are spent on malpractice premiums between doctors and hospitals. So we can't save all of that $400 billion, but if you can even save half of that money and put it into the health care system, you wouldn't need taxes, you wouldn't need anything else to pay for some of the things that we really do need that uh, President Obama and we do agree on. Right. Well, Dr. Schurz, Dr. Barber, and Dr. Schessel, uh, maybe you should just pound right on the White House door today when you go to that rally because the president said he's open to listening to that suggestion. Thank you so much for being my guest this morning. Thank you for having Thank us, you, Gretchen. Gretchen.